in this particular installment what we are going to do is uh, see how we can open up a new project in ORCID Capture CIS and how to properly set up the working environment so if you open up ORCID Capture CIS it would present a uh, sort of a UI that looks something like this or we can go to file and do a new project which would open this box up what we would do is name the project project something so I'll name it a sample project and then it would be a schematic type of a project and then I would browse and choose a location so you the better thing to do is to dedicate a particular folder to each of your projects so what I would do is on desktop I would create a new directory that would be named as the sample project or whatever helps me to identify uh, it and then I would choose it and that is where I would want my um, sample project to be stored in so once I'm done with that part I'll just do an OK and then a new project will open up so uh, one page of the schematic is automatically created so I'll take this opportunity to talk you through uh, this particular hierarchy page which you would always be coming back to when you are working with ORCID CIS so in here this sample project.dsn is your top level file which you would be able to take from one computer to the other and within this you would have your schematics whatever you draw and everything and then libraries if you create parts of your own so on and so forth so within schematic right now there is just a single page that has been created now uh, the pages are of a default size they have got a header down below now you guys would have to fill out the header fields appropriately as we shall see as we progress towards making that circuit which we were talking about in um, video one now this page size can be changed because at times what happens is a particular block of yours in the design may not be too small or it may have a lot of components which does not fit within the page size that's given by default what you can do is you can right click on a page and then you can go to edit page and it will take you to the page of course but if you go here and then click on schematic page properties then you would be able to change a lot of different things about the page now you can change the page size you can change the grid reference those little dots that you saw on the page you can change their resolution and there are other things which you can view but we are mainly concerned with the page size so if you want to increase it you can use the default bigger size pages as shown here or if you have a particular preference for a measurement for a particular page you can feed it in here and then hit OK and your page size would change so for example default is A if I select C and do a OK then go to the page we now see that the page has become a lot bigger than it was at the beginning so that's how you go ahead and change page spacings so that's all that we would talk about in this one from the next on one on we would see how we set up the pages dependent on the various modules uh, and go from there so see you in the next one